this bastard crashed again. But the good news is, is that my nephew was crying at 4 a.m. So I was able to catch it in the middle of the night, but hopefully in the next 800 days it finishes. It's very frustrating that we spent all this time editing the episode and the only thing left is to render and the computer just will not do it. Okay, my brother and I were going to pick up some lunch, birthday lunch today. And do you have anything to say to the vlog? Oof. How many calories of food do you think that is? I don't know, that's probably like <laughs> 10,000 10, calories, yeah. <laughs> Consequently, I'm not filming a vlog today. But the very good news is that I finally got the Whitney episode rendered after much trial and tribulation. The bad news though is there's still a mistake in there so I have to render it again. Lost my train of thought. Mm. Wow, I need to clean this mirror. A little inside baseball. If you ever see me filming in this bathroom, it's because it was a really short vlog day. <laughs> nothing better than breakfast. Two slices of bacon, two scrambled eggs, some coffee with butter blended in. Okay, I've got quite a bit of stuff on my plate today. I'm going to start with eating my vegetables first, which means doing the stuff I don't want to do first. No problem. No problem. No problem. Do you ever just take a shower because you're really cold and you sit in the shower and then you just warm yourself up? I just did and that was fantastic. That's all I had to say. Ooh, mama. Winter is in full effect. That is too bright. And I just spent the whole day editing videos. So when I got up this morning, I knew that I had a lot of stuff to get done. So I made sure to say to myself, we must get just at least these done. I didn't get everything done. Well, man, it's just like life is going good right now. Oh man, it feels great. So one thing that has really been fascinating me for a number of years now is the relationship between diet and behavior. One thing you guys might not know is that I used to eat a ton of junk food because I could get away with it. When I eat food, it doesn't accumulate on my body. It does things to other parts, like it makes my skin break out, it makes my brain crazy, and overall just makes me feel like complete garbage. So at least one of you have noticed that I started using butter in my coffee again. And the reason I stopped using butter in my coffee in the first place was because my face kept breaking out really badly. And right now it's breaking out a little bit. It's not too bad right now. So I'm kind of hopeful that I can actually have the butter in my coffee. But anyways, what am I, the point, the point is the other day I was talking in the vlog about how if you want to get things done, start with the physical. And what I mean by that is diet, sleep, exercise. Get those three things in order and figure out what is the problem exactly and everything else kind of falls into place. Which actually I'll say that one of the biggest things I've done in recent weeks is started eating less. And I don't mean like depriving myself or eating a deficit of calories. I mean stop using food as entertainment. Use food as sustenance. This is something that I am perpetually guilty of is using food as entertainment and 
satisfaction. When I eat just as much food as I need, the results in my behavior, mood, and like my skin are night and day. Okay, man, now what do I do? It's dark outside. I gotta just start getting up early. So right now I'm using my 16 to 35 millimeter lens on the a7S II. This is the lens and camera combo that I've used for the vast majority of the vlog. I only switched to the new camera in March. This is the new camera. Now I've got a lens for each of these cameras that's good for nighttime. We're gonna test these and compare them against each other. Not so much to prove anything, but just for my own edification to see how far I can push each camera. So let's go over there. So here's the newer camera that's kind of terrible at low light and nighttime shots. This is how it looks with this camera and this lens. I'm gonna use the exact same settings on the other camera with a very similar lens, and we're gonna see how it looks. So this is my other camera that's good for low light and nighttime shots. Exact same settings. Now, they're not gonna look exactly the same because they have different sensors. I just really wanna compare these two shots and see how much more grainy the new camera is than the old one. Okay, same settings one more time. Looks cool. This is with the old camera that I've used for the majority of the vlog. It should look very clean, very nice. And this is the new camera. It's weird because it's the same settings, but I think it's still half the amount of light that's entering because the size of each pixel on the sensor is smaller. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see what this looks like when I get back. Anyways, I'm not gonna get too in depth on these two cameras, I've talked about them a lot. But just notice that this camera that's really good for low light, that is actually supposed to be quite dark, but the camera can make it look like it's like blindingly bright. I think I'll go get some more shots. Just with this camera, let's get some cool night shots. Let's get some cool night shots. stoplight down there and right now there's no cars but there's huge waves that'll just come through like look at this no cars but you can see in the distance right there there's cars coming all from that stoplight That was a nice little excursion. If you ever want to feel like you're being looked at, just go out at night with a camera. Cars are very much at an advantage there because they get these bright lights and they're blinding you and you can't see if they're looking at you and they're looking at you and I can't see them. It's painful. That's it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. I know you're not doing it.